So when Hounsfield developed the CAT scan in the 60s and 70s, basically what a CAT scan does is it measures X-ray radiation. And so you have an X-ray emitter and an X-ray detector, and they're shooting X-rays across. Okay. And what the CAT scanner measures is the ability of tissues to either deflect or absorb X-rays. And so if you think about it, air lets the most X-rays mm -hmm. through. There's no impediment to them, right? So X-rays flow right through that. He created this scale, the Hounsfield scale, and he set air at minus 1,000 because it lets the most X-rays yeah. through. Bone deflects the most X-rays. And so he set that at 1,000 and he okay. put water at zero. Okay. All right. And so when we scan, we're, we can't look at everything. Mm -hmm. And so we focus on little particular sections of this grayscale, of the Hounsfield scale. Mm -hmm. And that's where we focus and highlight our attention. And so when we put it, for instance, on lung windows, we're much more closer to air, air density. Yeah. All right. And that allows us to see air filled structures well. When we're looking at bones, it's way up at the other end of the Hounsfield scale. Yeah. And that's, we damp down all the other tissues so that we can focus on that dense bone. Mm -hmm. And so we lose all the detail of our soft tissues and stuff. All right. Water sits sort of right in the middle. So it's like almost like a compromise window where we see soft tissues really well, but the bone is, is sort of too bright. Mm -hmm. The air is too dark, you know, so we're really focusing on soft tissues. 